All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TarverAcademy.com. We just learned a little bit about regular polygons. So now we're going to learn about the area of a regular polygon, okay? Our little a is going to be our apothem, not area. Perimeter is going to be p, okay? So to find the area, we have to find one half the apothem times the perimeter, okay? Or you could just do a p over 2. Either one, okay? So, let's look at our first example. Regular hexagon, which means there are six sides with side lengths of six meters, okay? So we know our sides are six meters. So, only two things we gotta find in here are our apothem, so first thing we gotta find, and perimeter, second thing we gotta find, okay? Area equals one half apothem times the perimeter, okay? So, do we know either of those yet? No, we don't, okay? So we need to figure them out. So let's use our side lengths. So if this is six, we need, no, all these are six, correct? I always, always recommend you start with, um, with drawing whatever the shape is that you're doing, and then you can start labeling everything. It makes it so much easier, okay? So when our side length is six, okay? We've got our center here, all right? Now, we know our central angle is what? Do you remember the formula for central angle? It's however many sides there are under 360. Because we know our circle is gonna be 360 degrees, and when we cut it into all these angles, we're gonna have six angles. Therefore, they're all gonna be equal, and we know that we can just divide 360 by six, which means they are 60 degrees. So we know one of my angles is 60 degrees. Now, have I found the area or the perimeter? Yes, we have. What did we find first when I labeled all these things? Did you notice? Did you notice? That's the perimeter of our hexagon. So we just add them up. Six plus six, is, or you can just do six times six, which is 36. So we're almost there. We've got our area equals one half our apothem times 36. All we got to do is find our apothem, okay? Now, you've got your triangle. This is what I like to do whenever I do this, okay? I don't need the rest of this. I just need this triangle right here, okay? So I'm gonna draw it out here larger because it was getting cramped in there, okay? Relabel my stuff, that's six, that's 60 degrees, and now I need to find the apothem, correct? Well, what I know this angle is right here. I know it's 30 degrees because it's half of whatever 60 is. That's a right triangle because we know that about apothems. And how do I know what I know this side length is? Now the whole thing's six. The apothem cuts to the shortest distance. Remember, apothem, Gotham. Batman takes the straightest line to his criminals. Apothem takes the straightest line there. It's going to always cut it right in half. Okay? So I can even redraw this triangle. This triangle right here. Because I don't need this anymore. Always cut out the stuff. I'm a big fan of minimalists whenever you're working on problems. I know that's three. I know that's 30. Okay? Now I need to find what? This, that's my apothem. Okay? You notice this is 30, that's 90. You know this has to be 60. Oh, <gasps> that's a special right triangle. Psst, that's a special right triangle. That means it is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, which means that whatever's opposite the 30, you can just multiply by radical three and get that side. Dope, yo. So I'm gonna redraw my triangle over here. I got this. I know that this is three. That means this has to be three radical three, which is my apothem. Okay? So which means that we, I've got too many markers here. I'm afraid I'm gonna mark with that real big one. Okay? So let's say we've got, right here, we've got A. I'm gonna rewrite it over here. A equals one half our apothem, which is three radical three, times 36. Boom. All right, so let's do it. Um, we can actually make this a little easier and multiply it in our heads a little bit, couldn't we? So we would take 36 times 1 half, which would be 18. And then 3 radical 3, which I think 18, I'm sorry, I don't want to put that radical in there. So times 3 radical 3, and then we can just do 18 times 3, which is, what is 54 radical 3. And then we'd equal it out and be 93.5, give or take. We put this because it's close. I have to round it. And you've got your answer. And you just look back at whatever it was we started with, which was 
meters, so. Booyah! And it was area, so it'd be meters squared. And you found your answer. What up? Please subscribe. Call your mom. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.